Kate Buziak has spent far too much time in this room over the last two years. I watched a lot of TV. Soon, she will finally get back to the programs that made up a huge part of her social life, like her greeting card making group. Fingers crossed, I hope everything goes okay. Even though she is at higher risk, living in a congregate setting for people with brain injuries, she's all for a return to normal. I think of it, I think the whole thing will, will be amazing to, to have people in the same room. Sherry Pang used to love to go to concerts and hockey games. When I see games, you know, playing in uh, in the States where there are so many crowds, it just, it totally fills me with anxiety. Despite four shots under her belt, she's still at elevated COVID risk because of Crohn's disease. It can affect the medications we're on. It can cause a flare up um, that is really hard to bounce back from. It's part of the reason she believes Ontario is lifting its vaccine passport requirement too soon. I do. It's, uh, it hasn't gone away. Around 14% of Canadians aged 15 or older are immunocompromised, putting them at higher risk of COVID complications. Reduce the risk of someone Doctors getting... hope in the rush to return to normal, the vulnerable aren't forgotten. Really, the onus is on all of us to kind of help and protect all the people around us, you know, to think about the, the child that has a stem cell transplant that you want to be able to continue going to school or the mom that has Crohn's disease. That's one of the reasons Pang and Buziak plan to stick with masks. So we'll need spring things. Distancing and smaller family circles. I think it's in the end, not well, not well in the end. There's still a lot of work to be done. And still a little more pandemic life left to live. Dry flower arrangements. Oh, that'd be lovely. Before they can truly feel safe. Yep. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Toronto.